I can tell you off the record, but it can't go in. They're looking fresh, bro. These are rare still. What's the maddest thing you've done that's actually got you into some trouble? I can't see sh man. Oh, he's cheating! He's cheating! Cut this interview now. What's happening It's missed. As you know, I'm the rapper that's mad about anything that's got four wheels. I'm taking some time to go and talk to the mandem from all walks of life, music, sport, entertainment. So listen, we're going to get into some deep chats. Then we're going to be putting a bet on and going head to head on the go-kart track. You know me, I'm a Crips, man. If they lose, I get their shoes. If they get wrecked, I get their Crips. Listen, if they win as well, well, it's up to them. But I'm not too worried about that. Welcome to Driven. This episode, I'm going to be having it with Alhan. I'm one of the best drivers that I know. On the roads, if you said to me, get somewhere, I'll be there before anyone else. I go on pavements, oncoming lanes, and I never get caught. What's happening, everyone? All right, sir, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I am with the man himself, Alhan. Hey, thanks for having me, though. Come on, Get man. Get me. Bro. This is great. They're looking fresh, bro. These are rare still. Them whites, yeah. Yeah, man. No one's got these, you know? I know, I There's know. very little in the I've world. I've got them, I've got them now. What colorways you got? That color. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you grew up in North London. What part yeah. of North London did you grow up? Pump. You've interviewed a few people as well, innit? Can I just say? I'm yeah. I'm going to stop you. Go on. See, um, in our office here, We've got a TV, it's got YouTube on there, innit? Yeah. And it's just on, on a, every morning it will, will come in and it's on the homepage. For time, it was always um, most recently played or whatever. Yeah. And it'd be your P110, one take. Moving in the fast lane, feds made me sit back. Had to value shit and never valued real shit, fam. Carbs and protein, beans out the tin can. HMP, Winston Green, Ralph Bean at. That was, that was like a ritual that every morning on my mother's life, We'd come in and be the first thing that we played. Nah, that's a I real one you. still. That's where it, this is where it started, isn't it? Beans at the Man. tin can, eh? Like. Telling ya, you can feel that pain in that one, <laughs> innit? <laughs> so like starting career, like how did it all start, man? Like you worked for Vice, didn't you? I used to say, yeah, man. Like this is what I want to be doing. Like they made the best documentaries. Where it's about drugs, North Korea. Everyone's in there. They're risking their lives. Like this is sick. That like, this is actual journalism. So I just used to go on LinkedIn and just find everyone. And then I learned that the emails was their name, dot surname, at vice.com. Hi, my name's Alhan. I'm 14 years old, 15 years old, whatever. Trying to get a foot in the industry. Please, if, like, if I can just come in the building, like, I'll be much appreciative. And there was one guy that finally was like, you know what, like, l let me hear your ideas. So he invited me in and I said, yeah, you're too young. Like, you have to be, we're working on 18 plus content. Drugs, sex, whatever, like all that yeah. stuff, you know what I mean? But then on my 18th birthday, they reached back out. I was just a kid that wanted what I wanted in it. Do you believe in like, whatever you like, like manifestation, like if you manifest it and believe that? I was thinking about everything I've wanted as a kid, like all my goals, I used to have them on my notes app, like my New Year's resolutions or whatever. Yeah. Like I've ticked most of them. Everything I've put my mind to and I've wanted, I've had. <laughs> Let's so you're making that new list? Yeah, because I'm, I'm going to have a McLaren, isn't it? <laughs> Where was your, your break? Who did, what What do you think was the break? I think it was Gasworks, really. That was my break. That program just grew and grew and grew. In years to come, I'll always say, like, Gasworks was the one for me. Yeah. What's the maddest thing you've done that's actually got you into some trouble? There was a dappy one. Yeah. That never got aired. Is that bad? Like, we had to take it out of the video. <laughs> and his manager was in the back just shouting at me, saying, what are you doing? And I was just laughing. But I'm cool with dappy, like, yeah, that's yeah. actually my, he invited me around for a barbecue. I told him to hold it. <laughs> can you not tell us what happened? No, nah, well, I can tell you off the record, but it can't go in. But I just said, like, obviously, that <laughs> <laughs> Then he's he just like, no, nah, no, nah, cut this interview now. You know what it is? When the show started, there used to be quite a lot of that. Yeah. Like, we had a few phone calls. Don't say that, don't do this. When the show first started, it was new. There was nothing really like it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? In America, this is a known thing. They do the roasts where everyone sits down with the celebrities and they're just mocking each other. When it started, it was a new thing and people didn't really know how to, to come to terms with it. But after a year or two, it's like, 
if you're going on Gasworks or you know about Gasworks and you're actually annoyed about it or you're feeling emotional because of what we've said, that says more about you than it does us. Because no, everything comes from a good place. Everything's in jest. And at the end of the day, see me. I do nothing but support the UK. So anything that we speak about, whether it's good or taking the piss, it's a celebration of, of, of our culture, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. At first, people were on me. We're about to get real on the track, but what I'm trying to let you know is if he loses, them shoes is, mate. The mind. <laughs> you said if he loses, the shoes is. <laughs> I hear that, you know. I had to fly these in. No yeah. one's got them. There's All probably that. like four or five of these ever made. G had them, I was like, yeah, man. Threw them in from them. Pick up my guy G, man. Each and every time. We got G. Nice one, bro. <laughs> Sweet. But if I win, obviously the chances are very slim. Mm -hmm. What do I get? It's your choice, mate. You know what? Pulling in, I saw a nice car. Yeah. Was that yours? That's mine. The McLaren. That green machine. If I win today, yeah. weekend is mine. Ooh, What's yeah. that, the 720? It's the 720. Can you drive, though? Yeah. I go on pavements, oncoming lanes. I never get caught. Alright, let's open. Say no more. Let's see that green. Goes with the McLaren. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the track. I'm Alex Jakes, Formula One commentator. Today we have Mist versus Alhan. It's not exactly Hamilton versus Verstappen, is it? But we'll take what we can get. He's chucking it with buckets out there. Welcome to the boat show. These boys are about to get wet, but they're not one for complaining. Now I'm sinking. My glasses are fucked up. I can't see shit, man. We're, We're finished. I missed. Headlock. That's a classic warm up. I see that in the pits all the time. Bro, it's not a joke. Well, and here we go. Mist has that McLaren 720 on the line. And for Alhan, it's those fresh, fresh crepes. And we're off. We have Mist in the lead, but Alhan takes him on the first corner. Oh, my God, puddle. Alhan moaning about the puddle, but there will be a puddle of his tears if he doesn't stop whinging and get on with it. Mist wants those crepes. Alhan trying to cut the corner. Mist on the side. It's messy. It's raining. It's certainly not Formula One. Oh, come on, man. Alhan just eating Mist rainwater right now. Drink up, lad. There's more to come. Mist first. Alhan trails. They're back on the corner one. It's slippy. It's slidey. And Alhan can't hack it. No! <laughs> Missed the perfect picture of a sportsman cracking up as he speeds ahead. Alhan giving it the gun fingers. Missed one, Alhan two. Here we go, just approaching that regular corner. Can Alhan do it? Oh my god. Oh, and someone needs a swimming lesson because they are just drowning out there. Missed looking back. I'm using my excited voice, but it's basically all over. It's not how fast you drive, it's how smart you drive. Alhan coming into the pits. He knows it's done. It's game. It's set. It's match. Ah, oh, and he's coming out the other side. Missed. I hope you like scratches all over your McLaren because Alhan is about to take it for the weekend and he can't even drive a go kart. Over oh, here comes Missed. Taking him on the left hand side. Missed takes him. Alhan, get your craps off. Hey, Missed, I can't lie. Love for having me, my guy. Bruv, it was sick. Cold still. It was sick, bruv. Enjoy them in Brum. They'll look good in Brum. So, last lap, I, I thought I'd have you. I'm telling you. Man flew straight past. Skill. Slipstream. A man caught slipstream in real life. All for these. <laughs> it was all for these. Enjoy them. These are a proper Brummy trainer. Air bubble. You get me? They'll respect these back in the manor. I just want everyone to know, when you lose, you lose your shoes. <laughs> Taking his shoes. Let me still have the McLaren, though. <laughs> Make sure you zoom down to his crocs. <laughs>